Well, uh, my brother is an economist, and so I'm force-fed economics on a regular basis. Um, but the, the question on business is just, I, I wanted to make money doing photography, and I started out in art college, and I went from there, and so I kind of built a business by accident. And at one point, when you have an accidental business, you have to learn how to be efficient, you have to learn some business skills, you have to learn all that stuff, marketing and things like that. So, and there's still stuff I have to learn. Uh, you know, business, you, you never stop learning, but uh, I, I learned very quickly that efficiency was key to making money and getting things done and making people happy. Everything aspires to the condition of music, all art does. Um, we, there's, music has a direct conduit to the soul. It's something that has very few filters to it, and so um, that's why music pumps people up for a football game, or that's why music helps people uh, put their, uh, you know, their sorrows into the music, or helps them to cheer up, or that's why we teach ABCs to our children with music. Uh, because music has the ability to install information into you in an immediate way. And so all art wants to do that. So when I'm looking at photography, I look at it from a musical perspective. And when I build books and when I tell stories with it, I'm always thinking of a song and, and, and the musical perspective. And how does a song capture people's attention for three minutes or two and a half minutes or five minutes or whatever that song you know, length is. And so music to me, I grew up on music. I, I started playing violin when I had a little violin about, I don't know, that big, you know, and it just scratched and stuff. So I grew up on music and that's kind of what informs my sensibilities, I suppose. You know, if I only have one light, that light always uh, becomes a hair light or a back light or a side light, and, and it's never the front light. Um, usually I can find some open shade or I'll turn the, uh, you know, the person away from the sun and use the sun as the hair light, um, but I can always use that northern sky as a beautiful soft light. So if I only have one light, I try and do something a little more interesting with that light than just fill flash or, you know, a, a main light source. Uh, that, that one light can be very interesting when it's used in a different way. Too many people just always have that for that their light is always straight on to the to the subject whether it's on the camera or whether it's off camera they oftentimes use it too much as a front light and they never think of the other options like hair lights and side lights and bounce lights and things like that um, I, I do that a lot I, I I think that sometimes the picture can use a little flare or a little glare or or, or even a sun where the sun doesn't exist. And so I, I use the lights usually to pretend that the sun is where it's not. Um, and that's, that's pretty fun. Or, or a projector. So like I have a photograph where I went into a, a movie theater and the couple is sitting at the front of the theater and pretending to enjoy the, 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 the movie. And we're actually using a little speed light to bounce off the, the movie screen which creates this huge, beautiful, soft light on them. And then we've got another light in the back, hoisted up as high as the projector would be, coming straight into the lens so that it looks like it's the movie projector. Because surprisingly, movie projectors are really dim. And so when you turn one on, you don't see it in a photograph. You have to have something brighter. My children. Um, when, I, when I look at kids, they, especially younger kids, there's a point at which children start to become self-aware and they worry about how they look and that's the point at which we all start looking bad. So if, if I can learn one thing from a child or teach my subjects one thing, it's how to, you know, get outside yourself and not worry too much about what you look like or, and just, just be yourself. And that's what a, child, a child does, you know, from ages one to about five, they just, they're themselves and they will do anything and they laugh and they giggle and they have fun and they smile and they don't worry about what their smile looks like. They don't worry about, you know, whether or not they have the perfect, you know, complexion. And I think, I think we can all learn a lot from that. People can look at jaredplatt.com. You can find me on Facebook at Jared Platt. You can find me on Twitter at Jared Platt, like 
J-A-R-E-D-P-L-A-T-T. If you look for that, I'm there. There's also a pro wrestler named Jared Platt. That's not me. I'm not a pro wrestler. I'm a <laughs> photographer. So.